This is a story about a man who you've probably never heard of, but it's a story that must be told. George J. Wilson Jr. was born on March 11th, 1924. On December the 6th, 1940, aged only 16 years old, he joined the United States Army. He had to lie about his age to get in. He was based at Fort Hamilton, Brooklyn, New York, and was assigned to the 1st Infantry Division, otherwise known as the Big Red One. His military job was rifleman and then eventually SWAT leader. During World War II, Mr. Wilson participated in five major battles, most notably Normandy and the Battle of the Bulge. The Battle of the Bulge, starting on December 16, 1944, was the last major offensive effort by Adolf Hitler. This was a very large and complex battle, which covered hundreds of square miles and over a million people. It lasted 41 days and destroyed tens of thousands of lives, and to this date remains the largest battle in the history of the entire United States. It was during this battle, Mr. Wilson, then aged 21, was wounded three times and captured. He then remained in a German prison camp for 130 days until the end of the war. As a result of his wounds and disabilities, Mr. Wilson then spent almost two years after the war in a Veterans Administration hospital. Because of this, he was awarded the Purple Heart Medal with two oak leaf clusters, the Bronze Star Medal, the European Theatre of Operations Medal with five battle stars, the French Normandy Medal, the Prisoner of War Medal, the National Defence Medal, the World War II Victory Medal, the Good Conduct Medal, and the Combat Infantryman's Badge. After World War II, Mr. Wilson served with the Secret Service during the administration of John F. Kennedy. He also formed a corporation known as the Society of War Prisoners Limited. All ex-prisoners of war are honorary members. Most notably, Mr. Wilson devoted the last 25 years of his life helping fellow veterans obtain benefits that have once been denied by the federal government. He was, in fact, one of the very few remaining World War II veterans who could serve as an attorney representing veterans before the Veteran Administration or Higher Court. Mr. Wilson had successfully passed all the rigorous tests required to represent these specialised cases and was more aware of the law than those in Washington, D.C. He was often called upon for guidance by other counsel. He single-handedly and voluntarily secured several million dollars in benefits for veterans who had once been previously denied by the U.S. government. Such was Mr. Wilson's passion for helping fellow war veterans. In the year 2000, he sold his Purple Heart Medal and Bronze Star to raise money for fellow war veterans. Also, on March 23, 2003, Mr. Wilson went to the French Embassy in Washington, D.C. and handed back his Normandy Medal to the country of France. This was done in protest to President Chirac's decision to veto a resolution to support a coalition of countries who were ready to declare war on Iraq. This decision was also out of respect for all his friends who were killed on Omaha Beach and elsewhere during the liberation of France from Iraq. Tragically, George J. Wilson Jr. passed away peacefully on Monday the 2nd of July 2007. Before he passed away, Mr. Wilson was often asked to speak at high schools about his experiences in World War II. His advice to the students always remained the same. The following is George J. Wilson Jr.'s message to future generations. Do not be influenced by the romantic depictions of war presented on television, theatres, or listening to anybody who wants you to believe that war is heroic or glamorous in any way. Listen to and respect any veteran who served in the defence of our country to preserve your freedom. He will tell you that war is horrendous, too awful to describe, and should be avoided at all cost. If all of you young people of the world would decide that war was a thing of the past, there will be no more wars. Do everything you can to contribute to this by learning history and paying attention to politics, participating if possible. Knowledge and courage are necessary attributes to making the world free from war. Freedom is precious. Protect it.